Dealing with unhealed trauma, especially for athletes, because athletes are perceived to be so strong and they're like resilient and we say they're gonna be okay. But what can we do better for, as a society to help kids and youth deal with the trauma that they're experiencing? A lot of times we're taught a certain way, we're brought up a certain way, especially for young men, right? Like you're taught, don't cry, right? Be strong, be tough, right? It's ultra masculinity. And so when we go through things, it's not always the easiest to express it, right? Or you just try to brush it off, try to cover it up and act as if it's not there. And then it shows up in different ways. And then you get to a point to where you have to deconstruct certain behaviors, right? Because you play all these sports or you're in all these environments and they're telling you what equates to being strong, right? Like it's not just being strong if you don't cry. It's also being strong, pleading out and saying, Hey man, I need help, right? I'm struggling with this. It's also being strong if you go through something to release it and cry about it. And so I think the same way that we have certain resources for sports to become better, like if we walk out of our door today and we want our kids to get in training somewhere for a specific thing, man, we don't have to go far. It's going to be resources everywhere. It's going to be resources online. It's going to be training centers in the city somewhere, in the sub, wherever. You can have those resources and have access to that. I think we need the same type of resources and access to things when it comes to mental health, when it comes to things with our emotions, when it comes to the psychological aspect of it, when it comes to transitioning, when it comes to releasing and walking away from sports, because these are things that people struggle with and it shows up in different areas and aspects of our lives, sometimes in unhealthy ways. But most, in, most importantly, just having the resources there for guys to have access to. Like, there's no reason why if we got um, defensive backs coaches, offensive coaches, why don't we have a mental coach? You know, why don't we have somebody that can help them with their emotional state? Why don't we have somebody that if they go through trauma, somebody that they can talk to readily on the staff, right? Somebody there for that, like in place, a professional for that, because that's just as important in my opinion. Trauma, adversity, it doesn't wait. Like you said, it doesn't discriminate and it's not gonna make an appointment. <laughs> you know, it hits at the worst times. 